All right, good morning. It's Monday. It's already gonna be a warm one. I can already feel the sun beating on me and I can already feel some sweat starting to kick up already. Push day. And this week is going to be a dry fast in the middle of the week. So I'm gonna do a Monday, Tuesday workout, day off on Wednesday and Thursday, Friday workout. So it's kind of a split workout this week just because I'll be doing a dry fast in the middle of it and I don't want to over, overwork myself. I want to actually want the dry fast to actually do what it's supposed to do. So push day, let's get going. All right, I think I'm gonna do the yellow band on chest press, so I'm gonna warm up with 20 good slow chest presses with the black. Just get my body ready for the big push with the yellow. All right, 20 good pushes with the black. Just getting the blood flowing, getting ready for the yellow band. feel every bit of that all right going right into dark gray crossovers <sighs> No, oh, I can't even do a stretch. Oh my god. I was That was painful. I'm gonna do a big stretch with the dip bar. 
Oh, I can feel that. Whew. That was painfully good. All right, let's get some shoulders done. Yeah, that kills the shoulders. Whew. All right, today we're gonna try a triple tricep threat.
so much just isometric block it out and just try and do a negative as slow as you can after I done burned it out with everything Whew. Uh, switched over to the dark gray today. I wanted longer time under tension and force the quads to work more and make them work longer. So I got 30 out of that. Uh, yeah, we need to catch our breath before we move to the left. Let's see if we can get this done. My camera keeps overheating because it's so freaking hot out here already. Last set. Just concentrating everything I had into making that quad work. Maintain the tension in the band. Don't lock out and don't go all the way to the bottom. And just keep the tension constant. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, my God. All right, that concludes today's push workout on a very hot, hot morning. It's supposed to be up over 100 here real soon. So it's already hot out here. Uh, so I think I'm gonna start going with more yellow band on the chest press, really just feeling that total tension. And then if I drop back down and do dark gray or light gray crossovers, or just go back to the black band for repping out, reps afterwards to totally burn it out. So I'm gonna start adding that yellow band back in, let my, get my body used to the, pushing that, that higher tension level. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we do going forward, but I plan on adding more of the yellow in there, but I still wanna get my form. I still wanna get total exhaustion on a longer period of time. So I might just do yellow band first and then go to the black band and just rep it out after that. We'll figure it out. Um, overhead press, I feel really good, really strong. Once I sink in, I just start just thinking about just using my shoulders only to push that band up until they go numb with pain. And then it's using every part of your body to get, get that band up. And even when you drop down to your knees and you get that slight rest for a few seconds and then you start going, that pain is pretty intense. And I went with a really light band, just trying to do some, some front ra rise, raises with the band and just really trying to focus more, just all, all shoulders period, just burning that out with whatever was left. So. That was good. Triceps, man. Triceps felt really strong. I felt strong out here in the beginning. Really strong. When I even got here, I felt super strong. And once I burned those out behind the head, I got my four reps. Oh, I got the hiccups. I got four reps and I did a, an abbreviated stretch. And then I tried doing a negative dip. Kind of just lock that tricep out to hold that tension. And then just go as down as slow as you can with just body weight. Just holding that tension off as long as you can just to burn off anything left in the tricep. So I'll probably start adding that in at the end, a triple tricep, a triple threat tricep workout. Just doing the standard X3, skull crusher, press down behind the head, my abbreviated behind the head, and then uh, just basically a static negative on the dip bar. Just trying to get to any, any last left in your upper body that actually has the energy left. Um, I went to the light gray on the, on the quads because I wanted more higher reps. I wanted to be in the burn zone longer which with that dark gray, it's strong enough to get 15 good reps. And then you start feeling the tension start building. With that black band, that tension builds up so quick, you only get like three or four good reps in that tension zone. So I like the light gray because I can get 10 good reps in a tension zone. And then by the end, I'm just, I, I'm still moving it, but you're really struggling hard. So I'll probably bounce back and forth between the dark gray and the black band, just uh, trying to keep that tension high and long and then going for just a, a overall burn with that black band. I don't know, my quads are coming out. I don't have gigantic legs like some of these people do, but I can see I actually have more muscle there than I've ever had. So it's working, I feel strong. And that's the, that's the most important part to me is I feel strong, my body is strong. I'm actually able to do things I wanna do and I feel strong while doing it. So that's always been my goal is just to be strong and healthy. Leaning down actually makes your body more healthy where you're not overweight and carrying a lot of extra fat. So leaning down is part of it and i would like to be even leaner because leaner people actually live longer so that's my goal is to get even leaner while maintaining my strength or improving my strength as i go so a fasting routine for this week is going to be just two days of carnivore um today and tomorrow and i don't know whatever time i start my dry fast i'll probably just chug a whole bunch of water really hydrate my body and then just going into a 24 hour put 24 hours on my fasting app so when I hit that 24 hour mark, I'll be good. And if I still feel like I want to go a little bit farther, hey, I may push it a little bit farther. I may push it into the morning, I, who knows. I still want to try and get at least a basic 24 hour dry fast and see how I feel at that point. If at any time I start feeling lightheaded or anything in between, I will uh, take care of that and uh, hydrate myself and uh, get back into, I'm not going to put myself into danger or anything like that by over dry fasting. But if I can maintain 24 hours dry fast, that's a good start because next week when I go into my 72 hour plus fast, I wanna try and end it with a dry fast. I wanna be able to go longer than I did last time I did my big 72 hour fast. Instead of 65 hours and then a fat fast, I wanna do full 72 hours water fast and then try and do a 24 hour fast. Who knows, maybe even before 72, maybe at 65 I'll go into a dry fast for the rest of it. But I still wanna get that 72 hour fast next week 
that's the ones that I'm really working on. These other ones in between are just helping my body deal with it and my mind mentally getting prepared for that big fast that's coming up. I see the results. I can see the results when I do fast. I'm slimming down, getting rid of these. I would like to get rid of this, that. That's the goal, is get rid of that. If I can get rid of that, then I know all the rest of this stuff will be gone. So this is gonna be the, probably the last stuff that's gonna go. So I need to work hard mentally to get there. Physically, I can do it. You all, you all show up every day, they show up and see this. I work out every day. So you can see that I can do the work. It's whether I can mentally do the fasting and mentally stay on the diet program while I'm just eating carnivore. So that's the hard part. <laughs> that's the hard part because we all wanna live our life and have fun. And I'm not training for a competition, I'm just training for life. So when life happens, I enjoy it. And then I get back into the routine. So that's it, I got it done. I'm gonna go live my life. I got things to do like every day. And uh, I will be back here tomorrow for pull days uh, before we start our fast at the end of the day. So see you tomorrow.